Let's face it, the idea of sitting in front of a computer all day writing code can seem pretty dull and boring sometimes. And when you're first getting started with learning how to code, it can be a lot of fun. But after a certain point, many of us might start getting bored of learning because now the honeymoon phase is over, we're trying to apply all the things that we have been learning and the tutorials and basic stuff that we've been building just isn't fun anymore. And if you're at the point where things are starting to get a little bit boring for you and you're just not having that much fun with learning how to code, I wanted to talk about a few things that I think can really help you get through that process. The first thing that you can do is switch up the learning style. If up to this point you've been using books to learn, switch it up and try video. If you've been using video and you're kind of getting bored of following along with video tutorials, go use some interactive software that helps you learn how to code. If you have a day where you kind of want to take a break but you don't want to completely remove yourself from learning from that day, listen to a podcast. There's a lot of stuff that you can pick up just by listening to a couple developers talk about programming. While listening to a podcast may not provide you specific knowledge with the stuff that you're currently working on or learning, it still helps you feel like you're a fly in the room when a couple developers are talking. It'll help you pick up lingo and it'll change things up. And I think that that's really important when you're learning how to code self-taught because many of us might have been taught to learn a certain way, right? If you go to school, many of us have been taught that learning through books is the best way to learn. So we might start off learning through books and we may never give a video a try because it just doesn't feel natural to us. If you're part of the younger generation, learning from video just seems like what you should do because that's how many of us learn now, but you might enjoy picking up a book and trying to follow along with some of the stuff in a book. I personally really enjoyed the interactive stuff when I was first learning how to code. I enjoyed following along with the material that was on the screen, being able to use an integrated text editor and just see all my results on the screen with something like free code camp but after I had been learning for a while, I felt that I needed to try to spice it up. And that's why I always recommend that people try different mediums and different ways of learning because you just never know what you might like. So make sure to change things up when you're learning how to code. It'll help you stay engaged and keep you wanting to learn more. The next thing is try to build something that you're actually interested in building. When you're first getting started, you're gonna build all the basic stuff that many of us build. You're gonna build a to-do app, you're gonna build a weather widget, you're gonna build all the things that come along with the tutorials. But there's gonna come a point in time when it can be pretty boring to build another to-do app. It can be pretty boring to build stuff that you don't really want to build, some things that you're not really interested in and things that you're just doing because it's part of the curriculum. So once you've learned the basics and you feel like you can actually build some stuff on your own, start building that thing that you wanted to build. Start building that idea that you have. If you don't have ideas for stuff that you might wanna build, think about hobbies and interests that you have, things that you do on a regular basis that you can build an app for. You're probably not gonna build the next unicorn startup, but the whole point of doing this is so that you can be engaged in what you're building and you can have a genuine interest in what you're working on. Because the truth is that nobody wants to build another to-do app and nobody wants to build another rock, paper, scissors game. And if you are able to come up with an idea to work on something, work on it and, and start building it. No matter how dumb the idea might seem, if it's something that you really think that you can build with the stuff that you've been learning, start doing that because that's gonna be way more interesting than building another weather widget. If you don't have any idea what you might wanna build, just start brainstorming some stuff. And the first thing that really piques your interest, just run with it and you can move on to the next thing. Developers are known for having a graveyard of unfinished projects in their GitHub accounts. So it's not a big deal. Start something that you wanna work on and work on it until you get bored and start working on something else and if at that point you do want to go back to some of the stuff that they tell you to build in tutorials do that or just start building something else that you are interested in also another thing that you can think about doing if you're starting to get bored and you're not having as much fun with the programming stuff is, is go meet other developers, go to meetups, go to hackathons, find online communities, Discord servers, and Slack groups or Reddit forums, anywhere where you can get around other people who are doing what you're doing, who are interested in what you're interested in, and who are learning how to code. Because when you start collaborating with people, when you start talking to like-minded individuals, it will help light that fire or keep that fire going. It'll help you see all the things that you can do with code. It'll give you new ideas. It'll help solidify the fact that you're doing better than you think you're doing, or it'll help you find people who want to work with you or people who are learning and want to learn together. And these things will make it more fun. You have to gamify the learning process. And if you're someone who plays a lot of video games or any games at all, you'll always know that it's mostly a lot more fun to play with more people and multiplayer games 
tend to have a lot of addictive traits to them because that community and engaging with other people makes things just more fun. So if you're having a hard time with learning how to code because you're starting to get bored and you haven't gone out and networked with people and you haven't gone on any online forums and chatted with people who are doing this stuff, it could make things way more fun and engaging and interesting for you to just help you make those boring parts of learning a little more fun. The last thing I wanna say is something that I wish I would have done when I was learning how to code, uh, given the fact that I have like a YouTube channel now that's based around that stuff, is that I wish I would have learned in public. I wish I would have shared my work more. I wish I would have been more open on social media with what I was doing. At the time, you know, I learned how to code like five, six years ago. The YouTube scene was still kind of small for programming. Tech Twitter was a thing, but I just didn't find that stuff fun. I didn't like to do that stuff. But looking back now, I realized that things would have been a lot more fun and interesting if I was excited to upload a video talking about my progress that I've been making. Or if I just built something and put it on Twitter or I put it somewhere for other people to see and give me feedback. I know for a fact now after I built a YouTube channel that I did find that stuff interesting and that I would have enjoyed doing that. If you're finding this stuff a little bit boring and you want to spice it up and you want to do something a little different that will make it more interesting for you. I think building in public and sharing your work for the world to see is a great way of doing that. And it also brings a lot more benefits because when you share your work and you build in public, it lets other people know what you're doing. And I've heard a lot of people who are able to get jobs or able to get work or just able to build a community and network by just uploading videos or streaming on Twitch of them building stuff or just sharing how they solve the problem on Twitter or Reddit. And that could really make things way more interesting than just kind of doing this on your own. All right, with that said, I think those are like my four things that I would recommend for you to make coding more interesting and less boring. If I missed anything that I should have mentioned here that I can't think of, let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, make sure you hit that like button. All right, I'll see you next time.